Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video for Scrap the Boys. And for this month, we want you to scrap those sweet baby boy pictures. This is my youngest, Joshua. I know he's not exactly a baby, but it is definitely uh, a long time ago. He turned eight in February. Uh, and he is having the time of his life in a little water bin. <laughs> the picture's a little dark, um, but I think it worked out pretty good. I am using um, a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Attic called the Trio of Hearts. So it was one of out of the three hearts I'm also going to use some of that beautiful Spiegel Moms scrap sequence and the kit I'm using is an older hip kit club kit um, from August 2022 I did a little um, vellum behind the cut file now I'm trying to see which background page I want this whole kit was gorgeous so it was a lot of fun to use and I think this may have been my first or second layout using it so I still had plenty to choose from um, but I'm glad um, for my choices I actually end up using the pretty yellow background yes <laughs> I'm happy with that one now because the cut file is so large which I absolutely love I think it is a great technique um, especially with uh, a one picture layout um, you don't need much more you really don't and this uh, and I end up making it a giant shaker element. Um, my first thought was kind of make it a faux one. And you'll see that coming up soon. But then I'm like, oh, stop it. Just put all the sequins. I mean, really, I have a whole bag. Um, and I mean, really, when are you going to use it all up? You're not. You're just not. So you may as well use the whole bag. Um and I'm glad I did. That is beautiful blue that I picked for a second layering piece. I put a little bit of vellum in the corner just to use it up. I have a little scrap pile of little pieces like that of white and vellum. Uh, tissue paper, um, little cellophane baggies that um, I like to use when I remember to reach for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is the key. I give my layers a little rough edge. And now I'm going to play with this beautiful sequence. I believe it was called Brush Stroke. Um, I loved it because it had the blue and the yellows. And uh, it was a nice full packet. Yeah. So my first thought was I'll just make it a faux shaker and just place some around it um, because it wasn't exactly vellum. I think it's tracing paper now that I think about it. It's a little thicker than vellum. So you really couldn't see that well through it. So I thought, well, we'll make a faux one and you could at least see them underneath the heart. Um, but then then they just completely got lost anyway. I did add a few more in hopes that that would help. Um, and now that I'm thinking of it, I probably could have just filled in underneath the whole heart. And maybe that would have been okay. But I didn't. I didn't. So, um, yeah. So that was when I realized I'm just going to go for it. and might as well pop up the whole cut file and make it all a shaker element and um, so this is the what is it the 1 8 inch adhesive foam from scrapbook.com so 
So I use some of that and a little bit of that powder stuff that helps with the sticking. I don't know. Does it work? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I use it enough. And then, yeah, I was like, forget it. Let's do the whole bag. And yes, I love it. I love it, love it. You could hear it. It's very shaky. <laughs> this picture, I'm pretty sure, was right before we moved to Kentucky. We were kind of like... Uh, we didn't know how much stuff to get rid of, how much stuff to actually pack. So Joshua was about one. Samuel was four on his way being five so we had a lot of kid things um so it's like well i'm gonna let him play with this until the very end and then uh, we did we we sold it to a friend actually she came and picked up this table her son was a little younger yeah he's a little younger than joshua Hello, Finn and Amanda. So I know they had years worth of fun with it. But, um, yeah, we just had too much stuff to take. Too, too much stuff. So I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember the kit name, but it was very colorful, very, um, carefree kind of feel to it. The little sticker on the picture says ready for anything I cut that ticket and tag in half to use as a layering piece I found a bigger floral for the top and of course amazing dude um, was just screaming to be used stuck in a few leaves and a floral and I was like it needs a little something on the left so I found these cute little birds that I thought would be the perfect touch and I'm digging to find a few more leaves and a flower and I do I am successful that's such a good feeling right when you have something in your mind and then you're like please please let me find it and I did so I pop up the birds Hello, lovebirds. So Scrap the Boys is a blog, so I hope you um, follow the link and head to it and see all of the design team's projects. We are a very, um, how do you say it? We all have different styles. Um, and of course, Scrap and the Boys is what what we have in common so it's so much fun to see everybody's projects at the beginning of the month and of course we want you to join us um, every month we pick a guest designer to join us for the following month and that's how I started um, getting to know scrap but scrap the boys I joined in and um, was asked to guest design and then ran for the all call. So here's some final pictures. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, we hope you join us. Thank you for watching. I hope you're well. Take care. Bye-bye now.